We've been doing quite a bit of work uh, to introduce Ampere into our customer base. I'm really focused on mainstreaming the ARM architecture for our, the enterprise. We've done this for a reason. Uh, we found that it really is the best price performance um, compute op option in the market. Um, it's highly energy efficient. We're, we at OCI and we at Oracle are adopting Ampere for our own internal usages. We're adopting it within the context of our applications portfolio, our SaaS portfolio. Um, and we're really working to bring those same benefits to our customer base at large. One of our uh, partners here at uh, OCI has been Jeff Wittich, the C C Chief Product Officer at Ampere. I'd like to invite Jeff to come out and tell us a little about the work that uh, Ampere and OCI have been doing together. All right, thanks, Greg. So Ampere is delivering cloud-focused CPUs that deliver unparalleled levels of performance and efficiency. And we've been working the last couple years with, with Oracle really closely. And because of that, Oracle is the first cloud service provider that has brought the Ampere Ultra cloud-native processors to market in a cloud offering. One of the key benefits uh, from the Ampere Ultra processors in the Oracle Ampere A1 instances is the vast amount of compute that we bring to bear with a massive number of cores and CPUs that were actually designed for cloud scalability. This helps to uh, provide the flexibility that Oracle needs from an infrastructure perspective. You can see here it provides incredible scale and flexibility. You can choose between 1 to 160 cores. You have your choice of memory configurations. And this means that your cloud native workloads aren't constrained. Whether you're running just uh, one core on one server or many thousands of servers, you have virtually unlimited cores and virtually unlimited flexibility to size the infrastructure the way that your workload demands. In addition to the flexible burstable and preemptible instances, there's also bare metal instances available as well. So let's explore two of the many use cases. The first is an ISV. This is Plesk. Plesk is a part of uh, WebPros. They're a global leader in web hosting platforms. They have 384,000 servers running. They have millions of websites running on their platform and over 2,500 providers. Now, early in 2022, they took a look at a bunch of the requests that they were getting from customers for new features. They found that they had actually gotten 76 requests uh, to run the Plusk software on ARM-based compute. So they decided they would engage in almost a bit of a skunk works effort to figure out how fast they could get their software moved over to the Ampere Ultra instances, the OCI Ampere A1 instances. It only took them a few weeks to take their software and port it over, uh, optimize performance, and actually bring their platform available as a generally available offering. So they launched it. They went to GA, and in the first three months, they had 1,000 instances running, which for Plesk actually represented the fastest product ramp ever that they had seen. So they were able to bring this to market very, very rapidly. They got the flexibility of having uh, virtually unlimited capacity. They are then the first hosting platform in the industry that's running on the Ampere cloud native processors. And they were able to get significant performance benefits as well as the best price performance ratio. Another example uh, concerns AI. Uh, at Ampere, we have a library, a family of software tools called Ampere AI. And it optimizes AI and machine learning performance on Ampere cloud native processors. You can run your existing models uh, within supported frameworks and then out of the box achieve the best possible performance. Ampere AI is available in the OCI marketplace. And when you compare the performance on the Ampere, uh, the o o OCI Ampere A1 instances compared to something like Graviton, you can achieve 2x lower latency, 2x throughput, 2x better price performance than AWS Graviton. So uh, big advantages there, which is what uh, Matoha saw. They're a startup. They have developed a technology that facilitates uh, recycling. They have a uh, 
technology that uses near-infrared spectroscopy as well as AI models to identify what type of plastic uh, is, uh, is sitting in landfills or in other places. They also have technology that identifies types of fabrics. And so they're very, very reliant on these trained AI models. They migrated over to the uh, OCI Ampere A1 instances in just a few days. They only have a few engineers, so this was a very, very easy effort for them. And the end result was that they were able to reduce the amount of time to train by 30%, and their cost went down by 75%. So this is a great example of how the flexibility of these instances produces no waste. They can right-size the VMs for their workload, and then you have the efficiency to use the entire platform.